The Punisher has always been one of the most brutal, controversial, and fascinating characters in Marvel's entire lineup. His character, the way that everything has basically been made, and his entire war on crime has just always been a very interesting way to start off a comic book hero slash anti-villain. And, well, anti-hero specifically, really just depending on who you are and who you ask, but his entire character has always been something that's interesting to me, and I thought he would be a very interesting addition to the series that I've been doing weekly for the last like two weeks, which is my pitch for an absolute version of this character. And obviously, that just means if you guys already know, like we have absolute Batman and Superman already out in the absolute universe on DC side. So I've just basically been going off and creating pitches for characters that I would like to see an absolute version for, or just giving you guys what my idea for an absolute version of this character would be and Frank Castle is the perfect character to do this for we could easily change up a good portion of things and just see how an interesting version of his character could arise and I just really want you guys to tell me what you think about this kind of very big change to his character I got this from a comment, but I can't remember the exact commenter's name. I'll make sure to like just um put his like comment down, like um his like username down in the description, just so you know he gets a shout out for giving me this idea. But besides that, let's actively get into this video. And if you guys haven't noticed, I am using face cam, so this is me. Let's get into it. So if we're just going to be setting the stage for this and just actively describing how I specifically imagine that this would really go, the central premise is that Frank Castle's wife, Maria, and his children do not die in the gangland shooting like of the Central Park incident that we originally had. This time, that doesn't happen. That specifically, you know, leads onto a very different and very interesting course of changes that would very drastically impact and change up the story very quickly. The Castle family will still witness the violence that is very, very deeply traumatizing, but it just doesn't directly affect them this time around. It is more of a situation where they more likely get it happens to someone else that is either right next to them. So the trauma still, you know, is very much there. And there's still a reason for Frank to redawn on the Punisher costume. But it's not, oh, my family was the one that was gunned down. It's more along the side of another family was just completely taken down. And my family had to witness this kind of trauma witness this kind of pain and witness this just kind of thing that doesn't need to happen and that sets him off on the path instead of the normal way that we get the Frank Castle story and he obviously uh, by saying this he just doesn't he's not able to stop all of the violence before it begins so that's just another reason why he wants to really don the punisher suit this time around also the fact that he's not able to like he wasn't able to save the family that was right next to them or right around them that they saw all of this events transpire it was just a very big opening for him to be like okay i didn't and i wasn't able to save this group of people let me try saving somebody else so this would be a very interesting thing because obviously we all know frank castle has extreme military history being the punisher basically for the military he was one of the best people that they had and he could always be counted on to get the job done he served numerous like he served in numerous black op missions he was basically witnessing the worst in humanity and his time in the military left him very very hardened like obviously deeply suspicious of authority and haunted by the actions committed by himself and his entire group. But that is honestly what makes him such an interesting character. He is a character that has dealt with the worst of everything and is trying to, you know, clean it up. Maybe not in the best way possible, but he is still trying to make an absolute difference. And that is always something that I've always admired about his character. And you can't really just like, you know, knock him for that. Obviously, me talking about all of this kind of just leads into the catalyst, which would just be protecting his family. So the surviving and like them all surviving the entire Central Park shooting incident isn't just a normal moment of relief. It's a wake up call to Frank. It's a call into the thing that just basically says all of this violence is happening senselessly. 
in your own backyard. You were the punisher. You were the person that was basically keeping all of this violence away from your family that was even more chaotic overseas. But there's still a lot of violence and still a lot of things going on right in your own backyard that you could easily take care of. So why aren't you? The near loss of his family would become an obsessive reminder of how fragile life is and how criminals always seem to find a way to just exist no matter what you do. It would be a very big realize and just rationalization that he has to basically preemptive strike all of these people, whether they're just criminals or whatever. He has to find a way to get rid of them all. And he has to do more preemptive, preemptive per like protection comparatively to being, you know, a cop once the crime's already done. He knows it's better to strike first, strike hard, strike fast because of the fact of the next crime could be so much bigger than the crime that he has already just witnessed. And that is basically where the war would begin. His war on crime. One of the most interesting things that I would honestly have always loved about him. The way that he takes on crime and the way that he is just so very much coordinated with it. And his fear and his entire relationship that he just basically brings on to anybody else. Obviously, he starts off small, going with the very gang responsible for the entire Central Park finanza, just like that entire fiasco there. And then he moves on methodically, using his military training to basically dismantle organizations piece by piece. Unlike the traditional Punisher, though, like Frank doesn't just spiral into grief and instead channels the entire paranoia and frustration into a calculated campaign of violence. His family completely remains unaware, obviously, because he doesn't want them seeing the monster that is coming back out. And he still wants them to, you know, be somewhat normal and somewhat not phased by the absolute destruction that he's going to be causing. But obviously, eventually, they are going to know what is going on. They're going to know that he's doing all of these things and he can never going to be able to completely actively hide it from them. It's a situation that is literally impossible to hide and it would very much and very quickly lead to a conflict with Maria and a very fractured home. His automatic full thing would just be her like his wife automatically noticing the changes in Frank, noticing all of the things going on and noticing the very drastic shift in personality up until the point that she would eventually figure out what he's doing and most likely request him to stop. But Frank being Frank, no matter what, won't be able to stop. He can't stop once he started. And that is probably one of the most interesting things about him. But it would lead to, you know, them fighting a lot of more pain happening and him still probably losing his family just in a very different way. Him being basically addicted to the, the actual fight, addicted to all of the just basic things that he does as the Punisher that he just can't give it up. It leads to more problems in his own life, but it's the one thing that basically makes sense for him. And no matter what, he just cannot give it up no matter how hard he tries because he's been doing it and he feels so much comfort basically in the chaos. He's too lost inside the chaos for him to let himself go back out and let, let himself basically feel normal again. It's basically really showing you the darker side of Frank Castle, the side that is so actively enjoying all of the destruction that he's kind of just wreaking on everyone else instead of just doing this for the protection of people, doing this to keep everyone, including his own family, safe. It's the side of him that is actually in love with the campaign that he's causing, in love with all of the violence that he's causing, which is honestly probably one of the most, again, interesting part of that is character. I really just love the entire Frank Castle Punisher character as a whole. Hence why I'm obviously making this video. The entire way that he obviously just does things so methodically is a very just interesting thing, interesting thing to think about. When I think of his character, obviously we have characters like Jason Todd is like his like in the Gotham specific world where their characters are fairly similar, which most likely is why I'm going to make a video talking about why I specifically think those two would get along so amazingly well. But 
it is just because specifically due to the fact that they both have that darker side to them that really leads to such a more interesting thing to really think about. And obviously, all of this would lead to more of a moral dilemma. Frank begins to actively align his potential allies like 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 basically with more like alienating all of his um potential allies like law enforcement and even superheroes who specifically question his extreme methods the punisher is always a character that goes to the absolute extreme and not many people are always ever fully willing to you know take it as far as he's taking it and take it as far as he's ever willing to go it's not something that anyone and normal people can actively truly accept and you really have to understand that he is just that kind of character and if you can't get along with him he's just gonna kind of leave you in the dust that's just the kind of character that he is and that's the kind of character that i specifically imagined for this world and the way that all of this kind of just would lead up would just be a very interesting thing to see for so many different reasons and the way that all of this could potentially play out in a story like this would just be honestly extremely interesting to see so it would honestly be a very big situation of protection or bloodlust. That is basically the main theme that I would want an absolute kind of story like this to go, because it is a very big situation where either even though Frank didn't lose the entire normal catalyst that started him off in the first place, does he go towards protecting, you know, his actual family? go towards, you know, loving and caring about the people that he can and doing things differently or just fall into the chaos that he so dramatically and so dearly loves and is so dearly just tied to that he just doesn't even bother with anything else and just stays right there in his own specific path. That is basically the entire premise of this kind of story. So that is my pitch for an absolute Punisher. Let me let me know what you guys specifically think. And it's obviously at its core, it isn't just about Frank castle waging his war on crime it's about him more specifically showing and just showing us that frank is just so tied into this no matter what kind of story you make that no matter if you have his family there or not he is just basically always going to be in this some just like extreme darkness and he would probably i don't even know if he would go lighter into this mode or even darker and more chaotic into a story like this so let me know what you guys would think down in the comments below if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you guys can get caught up with all the latest video that i will be posting with all of that said i hope you guys enjoyed but peace